have helped a group of <laughs> She's dead, <bro. laughs> What's up Chelo gang? Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As I said, I bring you nothing but the best. I've been up and down conducting interviews and today guess what? Today we are at none other than Kobo Trust, the foundation that is very key on empowering art in our space. And you know, we are musicians here in this space and we also try our very, very best to bring you content that goes in line with that. As we all know, art and music goes together. Step one, wake up early, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today we are exploring art and I am joined by Onesmus, um, the person who has, you know, um, drawn this and he's about to tell us more about it. So. This is more of empowerment. I titled it empowerment. It's um, like whenever in your circle uh, with your friends, uh, whenever you meet and discuss do you get out of that place when you are blank or when you have some creations that are positive in your life? Like, I always um, um, put my much emphasis on things that empower and on topics that actually create positivity throughout um, every level. Mm. So, and I need people to be positive always. Um, mentally, to be positive mentally, yeah. and, <laughs> and, <laughs> and okay, um, I have a question. <laughs> how did this journey start? How for how long have you been painting? Um, what empowered you to start painting? I've not been painting for around around thirteen years. Professionally, 13 years. yes, professionally around eleven years. Professionally, or eleven or ten, ten, ten years professionally, and. Um, it has been a good journey because it's a journey that keeps on nourishing my mind and keeps on making even my pockets okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's a good journey. <laughs> yeah. Um, so how many how many copies um no how many paintings have you painted in that ten years? If you have a number, that is. Um, I can't guess, but I know it's over over eighty or over hundred. Yes. Over 80 or over 100, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Onesmas, you had just told me that you're a classical painter. Yeah, yeah. So what, are that, what, what is a classical painter? To me, um, I'm painting like um, the, early, uh, the early painters. That is uh, maybe 1500 or 1400. Kina Michelangelo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there is now, after them, uh, there was this age uh, that painters were... Uh, painting things, uh, paintings that um, depicted mannerism. Mannerism was about uh, the twisted postures and it was at times some body parts could be elongated and stuff like that and that's why you can see in some of my work those elements are there. And the messages that I'm giving people, the way they dress themselves and, um, and the message Within, uh, within the work is classical to me, yeah. Um, let me ask a question that I know most people are waiting <laughs> to hear. So what is the, wh how much are your paintings in a range? <laughs> just a range, just a range, you never know, you never know. Any, anything, um, anything of, um, anything of uh, 20 Gs. Uh, anything of um, 20 G's maybe in USD. Yes. <laughs> oh, no. 20 USD, huh? Yeah? No, 20 USD. No. Actually, something of this sort, um, we are talking of um, over 2,500 USD. 
2,500 USD and above. Um, okay, another question. How long did it take, take you to paint this? Uh, it depends. If I compress the period, it can be around two or three weeks. And if I elongate, it could be around um, a month or two or three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A month. Um, okay, I okay, have so many questions. <laughs> Um, so what is the process of painting, uh, such a painting as this? Um, you need to speak. It's, it, starts, uh, with, um, it starts with me just painting on a plain white canvas. Then I paint, I darken it uh, with uh, any paint that is a bit dark. Um, and after that, I have to sit down and watch it. <laughs> yeah, and from the painting, uh, from the strokes on the painting, I will actually deduce what I'm going to paint. And mostly it's after maybe I've visited friends and stuff like that, having stories. That's when now the stories may transform to pictures. When I now start painting on canvas, I'll just find whatever I wanted. Okay. Um, I don't know if this Not is what the... I wanted, but what the maybe what god wanted me to paint that day yeah yeah, yeah. perfect perfect um maybe the last question kindly walk us through your painting everything in this painting yeah um uh, in this painting yeah she's like holding her and this is like um Trying to know if whoever you are speaking with is, uh, are they maybe concentrating or whatever. Like in your group uh, with your friends, and these two are looking up to her. In your group with your friends, do you have someone whom you people are looking up to in that group? Or in your imaginations, do you have somebody whom you are looking up to? Uh, and looking up to this person means... Um, like you are trying to align yourself with whatever achievements they've achieved or whatever steps they took towards achieving them. Mm, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you don't have those friends, uh, detach from those that you have. watch painting or But thank you, thank you. That is that is so thoughtful. Yeah, and then. Um, with uh, now these, I don't know, they are holding, I don't know if she's holding both of them or, yeah, but I just painted it. <laughs> yeah. But now, another thing is, these draperies are symbolized like uh, some things that we go through in life. So, at times I make them be intertwined. Uh, this to bring about a message of like, now when you are seated, when they are intertwined, then you are like trying to sort them out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, are there any of your paintings in this room as well? No, no, no. no. Just this one? Yeah, they are up there in my studio. Oh, you have a studio? Yeah, yeah, yeah just within here. Yeah, yeah, I'll take you there. Part two is coming. At <laughs> Javaliza, at Javaliza. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. Hustle out, hustle every single day. I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave. To the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way, uh, or the highway And in the driveway, is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb, I invite pain You'll never hear me, bitch, nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain Anything you want, anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient, it's belief uh, They'll deceive with the negativity But I just slide right by that energy uh, Even when you feel low, you can still go even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answered a no, man, I still go Go, 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 go,
Hi, Paul. Hello, how are you? <laughs> I'm good. Um, so, Paul is also one of the artists here at Kobo. Please, um, Achaji, introduce. Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Paul Njehia, and I'm an artist based at uh, Kobo Trust Studios on Riara Road. And uh, most of my work is uh, mostly paintings, though I do a bit of sculpture. Uh, on, in my paintings, I usually use oil paint, and I usually paint people. I don't do any abstract at the moment. And uh, yeah, so far so good. I'm enjoying. Yeah, and uh, I really love to also draw a lot, and I also do a bit of caricatures at events and stuff like that. Yeah. So <laughs> any caricature. Um, okay, Paul. Eh? Not all of us understand um, artistic. Uh, Jargon. So, what is caricature? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, caricature is a, I'll say a cartoon drawing, but yeah, it's a cartoon, a cartoon drawing of a person, which is kind of simplistic compared to a portrait. Yeah. So that's a caricature, and I usually do that at events. It doesn't usually take long. It takes like five, ten minutes, and I'm done. Yeah. Like the ones we see on TV, uh, on gazettes. Yes, those are caricatures. Yeah, but now those ones are editorial cartoons. Yeah. yeah. So we are standing behind, um, in front of one of his masterpieces. But at least to a lezel, where you get in inspiration for your for your art. Um, uh, this piece, as you can see, it has students in uniform, and it's uh, it's. It came about from my it came from my experiences as a student, whereby in school you have to go. When you are in school, it's not only about learning. There are so many activities happening, and I try to document those activities where students are not in class. Some activities are inside the classroom, others outside. So I try to capture those moments. So I can say, I can say this series of paintings is inspired by my experiences as a student for I don't know six, around 16 years. Yeah, which is quite a big part of my life. Yeah. Um, and I, I can also see another piece there. Is it yours? Yes. Okay. Nilikuwa nadhani it's a drone imepiga picha watu wakiwa chini. This is another series of paintings I'm doing whereby I paint people from an aerial view. Uh, it's a series I started in 2014. But I still do it uh, once in a while, but not so much because I'm also doing the student series and those ones take a bit of more time. But I really enjoy doing these ones because as you can see, they are not, you can't really tell where they are. You can't say, you can only assume it's an urban center based on maybe their walking style, yeah, their lesso, a, moto, a bit of a motorbike, and maybe how fast they seem to be walking. But you can't really say they are in a market or a field, yeah. So that's what I try to, to pass across. Like to have in the, you can't really tell where they are. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's it for now. But thank you so much for showing us your art. Yeah. <laughs> Sasa, you're welcome, and thank thank you for the interview, and thank you for visiting our studio. You're welcome. My my fan base is called Cello Gang because I play an instrument called the cello. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so. yeah I know it. The cello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I, <laughs> I, I love listening to music, and especially I love watching music videos. So, though I don't know how to play an instrument at the moment, but uh, looking, I usually aspire to learn to play at least maybe the piano mm. and a guitar, because those are a bit like a, easier, like a easily accessible. Person. You look like a piano person. Yeah, I have interest, but <laughs> I hope I one day in yeah. future I'll get to learn, or even the cello. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I'm, a, I'm the cello advocate in Kenya. Okay. Yeah. So please join our space. Join our space. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'll, I'll do my best. And hopefully we can, uh, I can get to be a student and learn one or two things. And I can also teach you to draw and draw, draw. paint. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, guys. Bye. Thank you. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man. I still go. Go, 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 go,
hard hustle every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave uh, To the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way, uh, or the highway And in the driveway, is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb, I am So, today, I am joined by Wilfred, the manager, Cobra Trust Foundation Well, help me in welcoming him um, so Chalo Gang, as I said, I bring you nothing but the best and I, as I had earlier stated, we are at a really beautiful space and I am with the manager of this beautiful space and he is about to tell us how it came about. <laughs> That's the problem, <laughs> people are clowning here. <laughs> um, he's about to tell us the history of this place, how it comes to be that artists can actually put their work here and get money out of it. So Karibu Sana, please introduce yourself. Thank you. Um, I'm Wilfred Omondi. Um, I came to Kobo Trust back in the year 2013 when I was still in college. But be, when I came here, it, it used to be um, an NGO supporting wildlife. It only dealt with wildlife because it was registered in the year 2009. It used to support elephants, giraffe, and other wildlife animals. And then after some time, a friend of us came and started say that because I know they are, it's more about the animals. There are people that live in the slums, that they need education, they need health, they need to live well. So instead of supporting the animals, although animals is okay to support, but he said, she actually said, let's start with helping vulnerable children within different slums in Nairobi. So that is how... She started with the sponsorship of children, uh, but during that time, in 2013, that is when I came in, I found when they were already partner, partner, partnering with children's home uh, within a few places in Nairobi. So within that time, we have helped a group of children. <laughs> I think you need another day. Can you come another day? Oh, no. Yeah. That's <laughs> when your friends come. <laughs> um, so he's going to tell us now how um, today's event came to be. They have an open studio. Yeah. So personally, I'm not an artist, but Kobo Trust supports different artists from different places. So we have like about eight artists that we support in this foundation. We give them space and then we create exhibitions for them. And then uh, out of that, a small percentage out of what they sell goes to the foundation to support vulnerable children. So uh, for the previous years, we have done it like once, but we are planning to improve it so that we have at least three times at every year. Uh, the exhibition is mainly to expose the artist and also to give the opportunity to interact with different people to show their work and what they do. So for this one, we planned it for like a month ago. Uh, we, we just sat down with them and said we need to do a pop-up something and then people can come, they can showcase whatever they have and then whoever feels like buying, uh, buys and then they meet people and Exposure. yeah, to, yeah, to expose. Yeah, that is very interesting, um, and especially at a time like this, um, because not many people view art as special, you know, these are hard times, but it's so um, heartwarming to see that even in these times, that people actually take time out of their busy life to come and see art enjoy art you know yeah it's really interesting i'd say keep it going um, no matter what what is the biggest challenge that you guys have faced so far for us i can't say the biggest challenge we have faced so far for us as a foundation you know we are art is just something that we promote but for us we are into children and sponsorship but um the biggest challenge that most of them are have experienced here is that they don't have enough space because there are so many yeah. and getting there are so many people that want a space like this just to come and create something people just are just starting from nowhere 
but the problem is that they don't have that they don't get opportunity to get exposed uh, that is a challenge and then secondly with art um, you may sell art today and then it takes you like another one year to sell so you see the duration of time so if maybe if you have a family it becomes very difficult to sustain yourself maybe you sell art today worth 100,000 it takes you a year to sell another art and that is the only thing that you rely on so that is also another challenge mm. Okay, okay. Do you have anything to say to my viewers? They are called the cello gang because I, I sort of, um, I am the cello ambassador in Kenya. I play an instrument called the cello. Yeah, that's why I opened this YouTube channel to just expose people as well to classical music and the instrument itself. Anything to say to my viewers? <laughs> what I can say to the cello viewers is that um, we do have different events basically on art at different places not only in Kobo Trust so what I would add you is that you find opportunity next time even if you don't find it here in Kobo Trust but there are also other people that are uh, doing exhibition on different arts so that you can also get exposed to see what other people do because most of them express themselves based on what they draw and how they express themselves so it's uh, just add you to next time find opportunity to visit any art center and see what the amazing work that they do. Thank you so much for this interview.